Hello friends, welcome to Mathematics Fun with Dixie. Today we are going to learn about rational numbers. Now you must be knowing what a rational number is. It is a number which can be expressed in form of p divided by q, where q is not equal to zero. In today's session, we are going to see multiplication of rational numbers. So Let's take an example of 2 by 3 into 3 by 2. Now, to do this particular multiplication, we will be using transparency sheets. These are fraction transparency sheets. We will be requiring 3 of them. And we will be using a marker to draw upon the down transparency sheet and a ruler to make the markings. Now, um, before we start doing the multiplication using the fraction transparency, we need to actually understand that 3 upon 2 there. What that 3 upon 2 means is there is a 2 upon 2 inside it and there is also a 1 upon 2. So we can split the 3 upon 2, 3, and 3 upon 2 into 2 pieces, 2 upon 2 and 1 upon 2. So what we are going to do is we will represent the 2 by 3 on one of the uh, transparencies. We will represent the 2 by 2 on the second transparency and we will represent the 1 by 2 on the third transparency. And let's see how we will use all those three to multiply these two numbers. So let's first take up the first part 2 upon 3 what this means is it is a very simple kind of a, a fraction that you need to prepare on this transparency sheet uh, 2 upon 3 means there are three equal parts so what I have to do is I have to select the band which is 3 now here uh, it is a dark blue band. It has two dots here and two dots on the opposite side and two dots here as well as two dots on this side. Now what I'm going to do for the ease of doing the activity, I'm going to do it. I'm going to join these two dots. So I join that's first line that I made. And then this is the second. So this is a fraction, the central white part that you see. We have made a three equal parts of that central white part. Now our rational number is two by three. What it means is we have to shade two uh, out of these three. Pieces. So let us shade that. So my fraction has now become one upon three, but we need two upon three. Then we we'll shade one more part out of these three. So this is my fraction two upon three. What I will do is now as we spoke earlier we will have to multiply this by two fractions this we are going to make it as 2 upon 2 and this we are going to make it as 1 upon 2 so let's do that so there we are now we have is we have a fraction or 
a rational number 2 by 3 and then we have 3 by 2 which has been split up into two fraction transparencies one is 2 by 2 and the other one is 1 by 2 now you'll observe that in this particular transparency what I have done is I have used horizontal lines to make parts in this one I have used vertical lines to make parts you'll understand why I did this in the next step whenever we are multiplying we need a checkerboard kind of a pattern and that would help us in getting the answer so let us do we we'll multiply this number with this number this rational number with this rational number and then we we'll multiply this rational number with this rational number the sum of whatever the multiplication comes will be our answer let's see so how do we multiply let's see that all we have to do is simply put the fraction transparencies on top of each other and see which is the common area so how much is the common area can you see there are six pieces one two three four five and six pieces now there are there are two lines which are going horizontal and one line which is vertical uh, so there are total six pieces out of which four are shaded twice one with red and the other one with orange so here the multiplication gives us the answer 4 by 6 now what we'll do is this was our sheet we are going to change it with this sheet now in this sheet what is happening again the same 6 boxes you can see right but only 2 of them have been shaded twice or are common so what we will do the answer is 2 by 6 and so the sum of what we got as multiplication for these two and then what we got as multiplication for these two is our answer so it is 4 by 6 plus 2 by 6 which could be written as 6 by 6 and what is that that is 1 what you can also try is try out other variations and see if this method is much more clearer in your mind do try a lot of uh, other numbers other rational numbers and let us know your feedback we'll be more we'll be back with more activities soon Thank you. All the materials used in this activity are available in Deepox along with other learning and teaching aids. For more information on Deepox for home use, school program and CSR program, visit the link given in the description of this video. If you found this video helpful, then please hit that like button and share it with your friends. And if you have still not subscribed to our channel, then do subscribe and click on the bell icon to get all updates. We hope to see you in our next video. Happy learning!